Well, as the public protect system draws to a close now, Corruption Watch has launched a campaign to ensure maximum public participation in the nomination of her successor. The mass awareness campaign coincides with the Nkandla case before the Constitutional Court to clarify the powers of the public protector. Tuli Madonsela's term ends in October and already a call for South Africans to speak up. Corruption Watch launched Buam Zanzi to help find a suitable replacement. The initiative encourages the public to participate. Past public protectors, they've had to call for nominations several times because uh, there were just not enough uh, nominees. I think that's going to be different this time. The drive will use social media to ensure a transparent appointment is to make to allow the public to make a recommendation to the executive alongside parliament so when parliament um, votes for the recommended candidate we want the public to do the same using our application or web platform that we develop the organization has joined other parties as friends of the constitutional court in the Nkandla matter the ff brought the main application to get clarity on the powers of the public protector Corruption Watch is also submitting that the officer's recommendations are binding. We will be making um, similar submissions to the Constitutional Court tomorrow and we hope that they will be uh, supported and we're reasonably confident that they will be uh, supported by the Constitutional Court. The process for the next public protector is expected to begin next month. The first step is the establishment of an ad hoc parliamentary committee followed by a call for nominations. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg.